Hi, it's Dow and Dolly and Daisy. Daisy's come to join us in this little conversation. We're back from our animal rights um, march yesterday. You see, I've got it on my t-shirt. Dolly's got a little badge on, no fur. And um, yeah, it was really lovely to join a community of, of vegans and animal rights activists. It was a nice um, peaceful protest all around London. The police were very good and let us block all the roads and just to bring awareness to everybody about what's happening in the animal industry. Um, so yeah, to encourage people to join our group and to go vegan and um, yeah, you will really love it. Um, it's the best thing we can do for the animals, to save the animals, for your own health and for the planet, obviously. So there we are, I've put some pictures on my taxi to show you, which my daughter done in the meat market where the protest was. We actually went in there and took some pictures and it was very disturbing. Um, and that was on one of our pig safe um, marches. We went to this slaughterhouse where they take the pigs and that was in the meat market at Smithfield. That's where we started our protest yesterday. So do look out for the next march and look forward to seeing you people, good people there. And I really enjoyed the community spirit yesterday. Thank you very much. And um, hope you liked this video and the pictures. Like and subscribe and share to Dale. That's Dolly and that's Daisy. And because they're all beautiful animals, aren't you? What do you have to say, Daze? What do you think? It's a bit noisy here, isn't it? And Dolly enjoyed it too, didn't you, darling? She loves being with people. So all animals deserve um, the right to live a peaceful life, um, but they're not ours to exploit or eat or use in animal experimentation. So the vegan is the future. Thank you very much, guys. Love you lots. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Good morning everyone, it's Dale here. I'm on my way to an animal rights um, march. I've got it on my t-shirt. Animal rights, I support animal rights. This one's end species and this one's no fur. Um, we're meeting in Smithfield Meat Market in the city. We're going for a walkabout. I've got a couple of really good posters with my daughter down in her photography three years ago. She's done A-level photography. And that's when we went into the meat market there and we took pictures of the um, dead animal carcasses being butchered. Um, it's really disturbing, but she's done that for her A-level because it was about ending speciesism. So I brought them with me to hold up to show the public. Um, yeah, so that's it. So it's really good, good cause. Please join us if you can. It's Saturday the 28th of August. It started at half 12, it's one o'clock now. I'm a little bit late, but they're walking around the city and no doubt they'll be doing a slow walk. So I will see you there. Thank you very much. Bye -bye. I'm just approaching um, Smithfield Meat Market now. I think they're still there. I can see some high vis, some police and some people. So yeah, great. Hopefully I can join in. Okay, bye bye. Yeah, we're here. build up your immune system Absolutely. because as they say on here plant-based foods prevent cancer respiratory and diseases that's right and it prevents it to such an extent 
yeah. that it is shocking to know that the NHS is not telling people about the no. extraordinary benefit of a whole food plant-based diet. That's right. And think about all the patients right now suffering yes. in hospital yes. needlessly, Perfect. while the NHS is still serving biscuits and sausages and white buns. Yes. It's just absolutely shocking. It's totally corrupt. It's all about money, and they're not caring for us and the people right. and the animals and the planet. I don't Thank know. you. Yeah, and I think they don't know why that now for 200 years, evidence after evidence, have been accumulating towards understanding that a whole food plant-based diet is the optimal diet for humans. That's this right. is shocking to know that now, now GPs are not advocating no. and advising their patients to yeah. go plant-based, yes. where in the majority of cases yeah. it can help with chronic diseases, yes, that's right. and including yeah. respiratory diseases that's and including right. our pandemic. Yes, you're so right. Vegans are a lot healthier and surviving this pandemic, aren't they? Yes. And she's from Lithuania. Okay, thank you for coming. Really good sign. Thank you, people. Bye bye. I just. Uh, bigger than I The animals can speak by their communication. She licks her lips and looks at me like that. So I just went into that lovely pub. I think it's called the Blackfriar. And the bar staff brought out some water for Dolly in a little Tupperware and put it outside. Isn't that nice? So yeah, the animals can speak, even my chicken. They all communicate and they want to be with us and they deserve to live in peace. Uh, we have no right to exploit them and torture them and murder them. 
just for their bodies. It's disgusting. And it's not even it's not good for your health at all. In fact it does a lot of damage. Someone talking over there, see what you Have a little talk over there now. We had a good day at the um, Animal Rights March and um, all home safe and sound. I've got to say like and subscribe and share with your friends and family and do support animal rights. Thank you very much. And try the vegan options and cruelty free options. It's much better. You'll love it. Okay, thank you again. Bye. Say bye, Dolly. Bye.